Hi, this is Surya, the Love, Food, and Intimacy Coach, bringing you an update on the current transits with the Sun in Aquarius, moving through my fifth house of love, romance, children, play, sex, gambling, and all of these energies are, you know, s swirling around in my life right now. Uh, I'm in Puerto Rico and I'm meeting a lot of people and possibilities of romance are, are erupting and I find myself just being in these moments more consciously as um, I re even relate to my son. The fifth house highlights children. I find my relationship with my son getting better and improving because I created his intention, you know, of harnessing the energies of the sun as it moves through Aquarius right now until February 19th when it goes into Pisces. But one of the most amazing highlights that I wanted to share with everyone is uh, intimacy. Something on intimacy is, is an area that I delve into and work with people on, of course, as I experience it more and more. And I wanted to remind, as I am being reminded of the importance of Developing intimacy first before, you know, moving into the sexual realm. Because intimacy is, is sort of the, the spiritual aspect of sex. And in cultivating that, we develop much stronger, much more fruitful and abundant relationships that serve us in a way that gives us higher quality of life, optimal wellness, and you know, that spiritual elevation that we're all looking for. So, Napoleon Hill, he, he does the book on Think and Grow Rich. He, he covers a, a sexual aspect of growing rich and fertilizing our lives and, and how developing intimacy is so important. The concept of oct the oct octopusin more and more and that is activated in us when we have that close bond with another, when we are turned on, so to speak, when good feelings are cultivated inside of us. Living in Puerto Rico, for example, for me, cultivates good feelings because I'm a tropical baby, born and raised on the continent of Africa. Being here is like being home and not being in the winter right now where everyone is cold. So I find myself melting more, uh, becoming more receptive, highly more in tune with energy here as I have developed more of a stellium in my 12th house for those who are astrologers and know and understand. But something I wanted to just remind everyone of, the importance of going slow. As I, as I mentioned, the woman is the bowl, the man is the stem. And as a body worker, I was massaging a friend and there was a lot of tension and knots and bolts in his back and shoulder. And I explained that as a massage therapist, as a body worker, if I were to go deep into those knots the first time I work him, I would be really shaking up some stuff in him and I would make the process more difficult because it will create an explosion of the toxin in his body moving so rapidly, so fast, that it, it's not healthy. He will get sick for sure, you know, because his body will be working over time to release those toxins. It's no different when it comes to sex. We carry, this is our emotional magnet. We carry our emotions down in our bowl. So when we meet a man, and we get involved with a man physically so rapidly. You have sex so fast. It's, it's the same thing. The man penetrates the woman and he, he stares up. He creates chaos in there where there should be peace being cultivated because of the swift awakening of memories down in, on a cellular level in the womb space. So. It's a, it should be a slow process, just like women. We're water. The eggs takes time to warm up, and men are 
of the fire element. So he needs to kindle. That, that water needs to be warmed up slowly until it reaches its boiling point. Otherwise, it becomes a disaster. So intimacy is an opportunity to see into each other, to see into ourselves. Intimacy. So this sun in Aquarius is focusing and enhancing my ability to become more aware of the elements of the fifth house, which is love, sex, romance, children, being playful, and I am surrendering to all of those and working with those energies. And they're bringing lots of wonderful moments and creating lots of oxytocin hormones. So I'm really grateful.